Which one are you gonna run? Which one? You want good? You want better? You want best? I don't know. We got a lot of guys going good. We got more guys picking the best. Gas ported rings, better ring seal, more horsepower, more durability, more longevity, cleaner oil, longer. Put these in your motor, designed for all the SNS big bore kit. All right, guys, I'm Jamie, Moonshine Harley Davidson, Moonshine Horsepower. Today, I want to talk to you about rings, pistons, big bore kits, and what to do if you have one and you want to upgrade, okay? We're Moonshine Harley Davidson. We're also Moonshine Horsepower. So we're a speed shop that's a Harley Davidson dealership. So we have a little advantage because we get to see stuff from both aspects. Today, we want to go over rings, seal, a couple different options out on the market, what we're doing, what you're getting in your kit. And if you want them, you can get them from us. You can get them with our kit, or we can sell you just the ring. So today we're gonna to go over the Total Seal ring set we had designed for the s, s Big Bore kits. These are designed to work with the 124, 128, and 131 Big Bore kits right from s, &S. All right, s, s makes us our kit, which is the Moonshine Power Pack, which you can get an option with these rings or without the rings right here in our kit doesn't necessarily come with a cam. Our kit is a la carte. You can pick your rings, you can pick your cam, you can pick lifters, push rod tubes. That's kind of what's different in our kit from what you're seeing on the market. So the part number you see here is only available right through us. Now let's get into the rings, why we're running them and the difference. So both rings are steel. They're both nice quality. These are great. These guys are just a little better. What we're gonna go over right now in this video is gas porting, all right? Both rings have a bevel on the inside upper lip, which where the gases go through the top ring, they hit this vertical land and they go to the back side. That bevel allows the gases to push the ring out on tension on the cylinder wall. Okay. These motors, you're talking about 1800 PSI running on the top of the ring here that these are going. Just this ring sealed like this with a bevel is not enough to keep all that pressure on the top. So you have a little more blow by in this ring compared to the gas ported ring, all right? So when you have less blow by, you're gonna, ex it's gonna have more longevity. It's gonna be more durable because when you have blow by on these rings, in that blow by, you have burnt gases. That's how your oil gets dirty after a while. The more of the burnt gases we can keep up in the cylinder going out the exhaust, the cleaner your oil is gonna stay, the longer it's gonna stay cleaner, which is leading to the longevity and durability of your motor. So there's two ways to gas port a piston. We can do it with the ring. We can also do it on the side of the piston. If you notice this piston here is gas ported for the oil ring from the bottom side of the piston. We're trying to do it from the top side of the piston with the gases. So we could cut grooves just like this guy in the top side of this ring groove, but that's a weaker part of the piston. So one, it's a little bit weaker up there because this is where the gases and everything's pushing right here on this layer and it's cut out. Okay, and the way we're doing it is we don't have a lot of distance from the top of the pin to the compression height of the top of the piston. Okay, we're kind of limited there. Some cars, some manufacturers, they will have a taller piston there, a little bit stronger because they have more meat there. Also, aluminum doesn't have the same cleaning characteristics as steel. Steel cleans easier with the additives in your oil. So this is coming into contact with your cylinder wall while the piston's running and it's able to get the detergents and stuff on the, the ring itself. Also, the ring is rotating in here so it can clean out dirt and stuff as it rotates. If something gets in there, it'll move its way out, out of the way. And that's not the same as if the ports are in top of the piston in that groove itself. If you notice on this piston, the aluminum is discolored right here above those two compression rings. Not discolored on the bottom because it's getting a lot more oil down there on the bottom side of the piston while running. You can see what happens to the top of the piston. This is the stuff that is in your combustion and needs to go out your exhaust. You're always gonna have a little bit of burn. That's pretty normal. Um, as the motors are more efficient and tuned proper, you'll have a little bit less and the pattern will be different. But look right here on the aluminum, how the aluminum is dirty and discolored. The ring right here is super clean. You can see it's a little bit more discolored the very back side of the ring as it is to the side that touches the cylinder wall. 
And this is a stock ring. If we had a ring that was gas ported, more gas, more pressure is moving in there. More pressure is able to dislodge stuff and it's able to hold more tension on the cylinder wall for that ring seal. We get a lot of questions and phone calls about adding a vented dipstick. Fueling makes one that's very popular. I tell the customers every time, it doesn't hurt you, it only has added benefits. So if you're looking at spending that, that's one of the nicest ones we've seen on the market. It's a great piece to add to your motorcycle. Is it needed? No. Are there benefits for it or from it? Absolutely. So if you wanna add a vented dipstick to your oil, do it. Now these rings are gonna help less crankcase pressure build up, which we all know the Harleys have a lot of crankcase pressure. So adding these will reduce the pressure in the bottom end of the motor, which there's benefits for doing that. Next, the rings that come in the s, &S kit are great. There's some differences we wanna go over. These guys right here, they're coming out of Japan. The total seal rings we have, they're awesome. America, Arizona, right there, Phoenix. You're supporting an American company. I like that. Anytime we can get something from an American-based company, we're gonna do it. If we have the same exact product from two companies, we can go America, we are. So when you buy these rings, they're going there. They retail for $119.95 for a set of two for both of your pistons, right from us. The part number, if you want these, guys, the total seal rings for your SNS kit, like let's say you bought a 124, the 128, or the SNS 131, these are designed for those pistons. They're not designed for Harley's pistons, anyone else. These are designed for the really nice Wiseco piston SNS is putting in their kits, all right? So if you have a 4.25 bore M8 piston from SNS, you can call us, you can run our ring set, which is the total seal set with your SNS piston, okay? And then you can take the rings that came in them, put them to the side. If you're already running the motor, it's pre-owned, you're, you're upgrading it, you're about to put heads on it and you gotta crack the motor open. Anytime we're cracking open that motor and we're taking the pressure off the cylinder by removing the heads, we're re-ringing the motor, okay? If it has wear on it and you have thousands of miles on it, we're doing a slight hone to reseat the rings when we install them. If the motor has a lot of wear, we're actually boring out the cylinder and we're going to a pair of our custom pistons. We have a variety of these. We match these to the camshaft and to the head they're running. And we also have something, if you're running a head that's not ours, you know the CCs and the cam, we can get custom pistons made from a company we use within about four to seven weeks, depending on what we're doing and the workload they have at that time. But most of the stuff that we're running, if you have our heads or you have a pretty standard head out there, we can get you a piston pretty quick or we might already have them in. But when we do this, we're taking that cylinder you have on your bike, we're gonna bore the cylinder out just a little bit, 30 thousandths over. This is a 4.250. When we bore them out, we're going to a 4.280. Takes it from a 128 to a 130 kit. This is real popular. If you want a hot kit and you want to stay with that four and a half inch stroke and you want to have the SNS cylinders, the 130 kit's hot. They're very cool. They run good. More high performance, more racing application than every day just street riding, touring with the wife, heavy bike. This is for the guy that's ripping around that wants to beat guys. So when we do that, we're getting a positive dome. We have positive dome pistons right here where they range from a half cc all the way up to about six and a half cc's where this dome gets larger and that depends on the head and the cam you're gonna be running. The pistons from SNS, depending on if you're going with a 124, 128 or a 131, have different negative cc's. This right here is a little bit over a negative seven and branding it close enough with this camera, you can see there's a slight dish in this piston where it starts right here and it just slightly goes into the bottom, all right? And that's the same thing. There's a little bit more dish if you're doing their 131 stroker kit. And they work good on camshafts, but you gotta realize every camshaft on the market is not gonna work with a piston like that because after you put the cam in and you run your corrected compression, you might not have enough compression for that cam to really pop off and do what it needs to do. So you're limited to about half the cam choices out there with a piston like this on your heads. Gas ported rings, better ring seal, more horsepower, more durability, more longevity, cleaner oil, longer.